manipulation he used on Robocop. We have the same boss. Top story. Wendell Antonowski, the infamous new guy in town, has been apprehended today. Robocop was able to capture Antonowski, as reported by an eyewitness, Channel 9 Samantha Ortiz. Unfortunately, no footage of the event has emerged. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public debate regarding his status as a human being. Ah, that Here's a statement from John Mills, a candidate for the mayor's office in the upcoming mayoral election. Today, Robocop has done more for this city than the current administration has done in its entire term. That's why I feel that it's time to give something back. If elected, I will be advocating to grant Robocop the status of a free, living human being. That's right. Vote Mills, vote Robocop. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad. Staying on the topic of OCP, the CEO of Omni Consumer Products suffered a heart attack earlier today. Uh huh. The self made entrepreneur has been taken to the Gibson Memorial Hospital for observation. His condition is stable. We wish you a speedy recovery. Wendell's in prison and the old man is on his way out. Could this day be any better? Geez, Steph, don't you have any respect? Here's the man of the hour. Congrats, Robo. You caught that bastard for what he did to Lewis. We are not done yet. Murphy, come talk to me after you're done with your evaluation. Okay, interesting. Evaluation. Not over yet. So is this like this game is divided to A part and B part. And maybe C part. Not over yet. Yeah. <laughs> Look who's back. No, it's in the upper floor. So, need to circle around and... I knew he'd get him. I just knew he'd be the one to bust that asshole. Glad we have Murphy on our team. Did the police get new, new equipment? Are you having problems getting a hospital appointment? Are you tired of being at the mercy of those never-ending waiting lists? Do you feel powerless? It's time to take the control back. Take part in the family heart raffle and play the odds. A single ticket is your chance to win a mystery medical service. Anything from a dental appointment to a knee transplant. Don't miss the opportunity. Let's Our make a whole whole family cyborgs. Seeing on television. Have a seat, Robo. Something not many people know about me. I used to be a car mechanic before I landed this job. Is that supposed to be that they explain a few things? Okay, what did we miss? Okay, John Perry, more secret found. What was the secret? Oh, a, 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 great. Nice skill points are available. Congratulations on catching Wendell. You seem to constantly be front page news. Not only that, your situation has become a topic of public debate. I imagine that could take a toll on anyone. How are you dealing with other people trying to determine your identity for you? I am used to it. Of course. It's not your TV debut. But the status of a human would make you an autonomous being. It opens many doors. Being given human rights would let you fully take control of your life. Is that something that you'd actually want? Yes, I deserve it. And why is that? I am human. The idea of granting you human rights is a very important issue. 
but no more important than the main reason for today's session. Many people might not be aware of that, but I have the whole report on the heavy glitches that you suffered before capturing Wendell. The only other time you've experienced anything similar was during the Slaughterhouse incident. That's when your partner was wounded. Now, you were fighting the person responsible for it. Okay. Do you think the severity of those glitches is caused by the intense feelings that you have towards either of them? My partner is important. I needed to do right by her. I know how close she is to you. Let's dig a little deeper. Your typical glitches are triggered by sensory stimulation, similar to how most people experience memories when exposed to particular sights, sounds, or smells. Okay. But this wasn't the case with the other glitches that you experienced recently? No, they triggered randomly. That's what I suspected. And now tell me, what did they seem like to you when you experienced them? Corrupted visions of my past. I think we're onto something. Your usual glitches were making you recall memories. No more harmful than remembering your wedding day when hearing Mendelssohn's march. We have to differentiate them from those severe malfunctions that you experienced in the slaughterhouse and at the mall. Those latter ones are the real problem, and we need to get to the bottom of it. But I think I've gathered quite a lot of valuable data, and at our next session, I'll present my conclusions. Yeah, it felt like a loop. The serious glitches. Hey, Robo, could you stop by the cells on your way to read? Someone there wants to speak to you. Yeah. Where? Over here, Tim. What did you do this time? Well, your buddies found me with some nuke that I bought with that money that you let me keep, remember? It turns out that the legal amount that you can carry is zero. Can you believe that? I can and I do. Yeah, you're the one who'd know. But none of this matters. I'm here mainly to congratulate us. We did it. We got the guy. It's we, not over. We sure did, partner. Any new leads? Are you looking for trouble? This is the they lived happily ever after part of the story. Wendell was conducting suspicious activity for someone at OCP. I want to know who. Yeah, because that this wouldn't Shit. be the first time. I thought you were just looking to avenge your partner. I forgot that you're a dutiful officer. All right. I'll keep my ear to the ground and see what the streets are saying. Good. The hand, rookie? Actually, I do. Still not rookie, used to working with my hand. Office. You'll eventually forget about being shot the first time. <laughs> yeah? When? When you get shot the second time. Ah. What? Okay, he gained respect by being shot. And by, by not being dead. That's also good. Catching Antonowski put a smile on a lot of people's faces. But we still have one unresolved issue. Catching his accomplice at OCP. Exactly. And when everyone realizes that OCP's been sabotaging us the whole time, mentions of a strike will come up again. We don't want that. So who do you think it is? Becker is an obvious choice. I just don't know if that's not too obvious. Do you suspect that Becker is on Windows payroll? All signs point to him. They do, don't they? And that leads me to another thing. Becker wanted to meet you. You're supposed to show up at some old factory. And he wanted you to come alone. A rather unusual request. That's why I'll get Officer Washington to listen in. By the way, how do you feel about it? Can you trust him? Despite shortcomings, he is trying his best. That makes me a little less anxious about signing him up to look after you. I'm skeptical of anyone that OCP tries to push on us. First Becker, then Washington. And let's not forget about Dr. Blanche. Speaking of which, Dr. Blanche, is she... 
Is she being helpful? Are you getting anything out of those sessions? She's on a third OCP spot. She helped me already. She is an enormous help. She listens. Good. That's good to hear. Sometimes that's all it takes. I will meet Becker, but there is a place I will visit first. Sure thing. In the meantime, I'll brief your overseer. I wonder. Keep some memorial hospital. Not over yet. I mean, why the Wendell was gathering uh, brains? Uh, is, is the OCP actually doing new Robocop kind of robots? Because they did kind of fail the Robocop 2 project. And it is, well, it is not really working. That happens when you install the chat, chat GPT to the battle robot. Wait, why are you asking me about my liver and kidneys? They shot me in the leg. We can offer you a higher standard of accommodation and additional benefits if you decide to sell. Just get the bullet out and let me leave. She's waiting for you, Murphy. Come on, give me the skinny. I want to know everything. Ah, oh, Murphy, we started the party a little early. I hope you don't mind. Sorry, partner. It's my fault. I just gotta hear what's happening at the precinct. In usual fashion, OCP's doing everything in its power to keep the police down. Come on, this is time to celebrate. Louis is feeling better, Wendell's in jail. Let's party! If you don't think a strike is brewing... You know what? Let me get this grouch out of here so that you two can talk. Okay, okay, I'm going. Feel better, Louis. You look well. I gotta admit, I sleep better knowing that you got that bastard. But what about you? How have you been lately? Did you get any more of those visions? I still see things. You know, ever since Antonowski showed up, they seem to be happening more often. And with yeah. greater intensity. This, this is the thing uh, that, that bothers, bothers me. I just know how it affects me. So I can't imagine how it affects you. The fact that he's the brother of one of those guys who... shot you. We should not let the past haunt us. Easier said than done. His presence reminds me of the day that I... that I left you. I often think that maybe if we didn't split up that day, things would have gone down differently. Neither of us could have predicted the consequence of our actions. That doesn't make me feel any less guilty. What I don't get is if Wendell is actually the brother of one of your murderers, then why did he come out now? After all this time? And why didn't he kill you when he got a chance? That is what I intend to find out. Right. Is it true that he's working with someone from OCP? That is what he claims. That's working Damn. theory. We should just lock him up already. We do not have proof. Not yet. I don't know if you heard, but the old man ended up in this hospital after his heart attack. I'm not even sure if he's in a state to talk, but it probably wouldn't hurt to check if he knows anything, right? Anyway, I think I need a little rest after all this excitement. Thank you for visiting me. We'll be back to working together in no time. I look forward to it. Sauce. Hmm. Did you hear? We're moving the old man to a private clinic for 20 minutes. Good. I don't think I can last a minute longer in this stage. Hey, where do you think you're going? To talk to the old man. You're the only one who actually showed up to pay him a visit. You know he talks about you a lot. Does he? 
Yeah, about you being granted human rights. He's rooting for you. So maybe it's not such a bad idea. You can go in. I served this town with every drop of my sweat. I always try to improve people's lives. I was good to them. Just like you told me, Mother. We did not see Delta City rise. But don't you worry. I promise it will happen. Mother. Michael, is that you? Your halo shines so bright. Do not worry, you are safe. Robocop? You came to see me? Like a real friend would? I'm getting close to my final days. And I just can't stand this uncertainty. But you came back from the other side. Tell me, how was it? Was it unbearable? Fragments of my past life flashed before my eyes, and they keep flashing. Perhaps I am still dead. You can't be, regardless of what the papers say. I believe that death isn't the end. You are walking proof of that. Unfortunately, I have not completed all I set out to do. All saboteurs inside OCP won't let me. Are you referring to Max Becker? That weasel seeks not only to destroy you, but also my company. Be wary of him. I know you would never let anyone jeopardize the good name of OCP. Well... Uh, maybe? Before you go, could you be so kind and give me some painkillers? That's better. I can always count on you, can't I? Thank you, son. I am the mayor of this city! Robocop, you have to intervene! Is there a problem? This man is preventing me from exposing OCP's hypocrisy. The way this hospital treats its patients is the best depiction of what OCP wants to do with this city. A brave policewoman shot in the line of duty is crammed into a small room while the old man has a cozy VIP wing of the hospital all to himself. This is what Delta City stands for. Even bigger division. He is not but totally wrong. But the time you had your tonsils removed, you were staying in the VIP wing too. We're not talking about me. We need to talk about the people. Robocop, please stop this madness. Make a statement. That policewoman is your partner, isn't she? So tell us, doesn't she deserve better? A hospital is not an appropriate place for political scuffles. Just what I expected from an OCP robot. They want to ruin this city. They want to take it away from the citizens. <gasps> but I won't let them. I suppose Say it no to this Delta way. City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. Okay, guys, we're leaving. We should find him a cozy... ...secluded, preferably padded. Well, hard questions. But I I'm, I'm wasn't too sure about the choices here. I mean, it's it's like... When you are giving a choice, you don't always know what you are actually cho choosing. Authorized vehicle zone. Hey, Mr. 
Becker's intentions become clear, maybe he wants to thank you for catching Wendell. I only seek answers. Help. You came. So you uh. can follow a command. Surprising. Surrender, or there will be trouble. Defiant as usual. Your creator screwed up the job by not installing an off switch. Well, it doesn't pay to fix their mistakes. It's cheaper just to replace you. So, Robocop. Meet the future of law enforcement. Ow. Oh no. D discount Robocops. Power like yours, but at the push of a button. That is why it is not only more effective than you, but infinitely more obedient. That's just a fragment of the speech I had prepared. But hell, this product speaks for itself. Back on QEDs? They're already functional? Mr. B Come with what me, the hell just with happened? me, creep. Backer. Oh, just stop right there. Great performance, Robocop. And Mr. Becker. It was an excellent presentation. You promised to show me a reliable remedy for this crime wave. And you really did. Yes. I've been working on UEDs for the past five I years. I meant Robocop. He's proved once again that he's still the top player. Excuse me? It just barged in here and started accusing me of conspiracy without a shred of proof. It is not stable. 
I have Wendell's confession. Oh, do you mean the guy that's been harvesting human organs? <laughs> Very reliable source. Yeah, for you. You keep forgetting that your organic components are the bane of my entire existence. They complicate things. I need a simple tool. A tool that I can control. And until this remote is in my hands, I have that... Oh! <laughs> well, it's uh, time for me to go. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for your presentation. I'll be watching the progress of your project. But until then, keep up the excellent work, RoboCop. And you better keep an eye on that remote. Okay. Well, he just wanted to have an, an army. This part of it, exactly in, like in the first movie. That destroyed one million robots. Okay, didn't find the... Oh, after under 10 minutes. Ah, uh, okay. C rating. Ah, uh, okay. There were too many of them. It's a new age. And you have to accept it. My robots are here to stay. Detroit will become the first city policed entirely by my machines. No brains. No glitching. Total control. So that's it? You just gonna replace us? You've already been replaced, honey. Can't you see it? What are you talking about? Murphy's one of us. You're a little confused. That's Robocop you're talking about. Murphy's the guy who's legally dead. That's it. We are going on strike. We are cops. Cops do not go on strike. Yeah, that's, that's the what spirit, he, old he said. I have important people to meet. Multi-million dollar contracts to sign. You know, the usual. Well, that sucks. Yeah. We can't just sit here and do nothing. You can do something. Your cruiser needs cleaning after your last shift. If you have a hard time finding something to do, come to me. That goes for the rest of you, too. Murphy, briefing room, now. I wonder if this, these are the developers that are that are on, on the on the pictures. Missing missing person uh, ads. First of all, I don't want to hear a word about those damn robots. We have a job to do. Now that the milk is spilled. We are looking for a mole in OCP that's been protecting Antonowski. As hard as it is to believe, Becker is not that guy. Yeah, he just wants yeah, to have an army of robots. Sure is, but there's still a mole that we need to find. It's got to be the rookie. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> so? We start so. by asking the source. What are you suggesting? I pay Wendell a visit in jail. Good thinking. You can try to squeeze a confession out of him. If I get my hands on him, I will squeeze more than just a confession. Interesting. Hey, that news lady's in the lobby waiting to talk to you. Yeah, I saw. Thirteen dead after the celebration of Guatemalan Independence Day. The authorities explained they mistook the intense outburst of joy for another coup d'etat. Uh -huh. It's worth noting that Guatemalans regained their independence for the fourth time in the last 23 years. Robo, do you have a minute? Listen, I wanted to say that I misjudged you. 
My crusade is against OCP. You were just collateral. So to extend an olive branch, I'd I'd like to give you this. Okay, that's what nice. Is it? It's the tape of you glitching the other day at the mall. It's the only copy, so you can do whatever you want with okay, it. Okay, nice. nice. I am nice. sure your TV station would love to play the tape. Yeah, that's why you need to take it before I change my mind. Yeah, that, Thank that's you. nice. <laughs> now that I have you here, can I interview you as a consolation prize? Yeah, sure. They want me to ask you about the election. Seems that people value your opinion. I would be happy to oblige. Okay, roll the tape. I'm here at Metro West conducting an interview with a man that needs no introduction. Robocop. One of the more contentious points brought up during the election is the construction of Delta City. Many believe that Delta City will destroy old Detroit. Mayor Kuzak spoke at length about the illegal evictions that OCP has been planning in order to start the construction. Other candidates, namely John Mills, believe that Delta City is a chance to clean up the city. What are your thoughts on this subject? Is Delta City the future of old Detroit? <clears throat> I would focus on current Detroit. Thank you for clarifying your stance on this important topic. This has been Robocop for Channel 9. Samantha Ortez, signing off. Thanks for the interview, Robo. We'll get out of your hair as soon as we're done packing up the equipment. First place, Detroit Post Police Department for the best Robocop ever. Robocop. Okay. Peter Parker Skyscrape Climbing League. First place, they take for the Martial Arts Festival. Okay. Price, uh, price for Robocop. Great, but he's not another corporate suit. Tuh! Not great. Okay, right. But still, everyone knows that OCP's behind that Mills guy. At least Guzak is actually for the people. I wonder where this is all going. I mean, we had like clear goal from the start, but now we are like we don't really know what's what's the next step. OCP, yeah, their own jail, basically. That's six thousand S two X. Look, they still keep that metal fuck running. What a waste of electricity. I mean, he did catch you. You too, fucker. <laughs> Robo, the prisoner's waiting in the visiting room. Oh, gonna have to strip search you. Belt, keys, loose change, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Just keep walking. I don't think that was funny. Good to meet you, Robocop. The visiting room is at the end of the corridor. Hmm? Good to see you in my prison, Robo. Did the inmates at the entrance welcome you properly? I felt at home, almost. I'm glad you're here. 
I want to ask you about the man you're here to see. The only thing I know is that he's no ordinary prisoner. OCP are keeping his record secret. So who is he? He is a criminal awaiting his trial. But I need to know who I'm dealing with. He's a demanding individual. There used to be peace in my prison. But now they're rabid dogs. He turned all the gangs against each other. So either OCP doesn't know who they're dealing with, or there's something fishy going on. He has some kind of power. I suspect powers. OCP knows more than they are telling. I'm here to verify that. Ah, good. Come see me after your interview. I have a humble gift for you and your police friends for keeping my business alive. Yeah, totally. Out of order. OCP funds you, but Becker is not your inside man. Who is? You're not going to ask me how I'm settling in. Answer me. Places like this do me good. I even quit smoking, you know. The trick is to keep your hands busy. Hmm. All that matters to me is that your hands are finally cuffed. Oh, that sense of justice is as strong as ever. That's you all over. Alex Murphy. You didn't expect to hear that name from me, did you? He I knows. used to think that erasing the memories of your past life would help you the way it helped me. Oh, but I was wrong. And I want to make it up to you by giving you that life back. I have already been restored one time too many. You have been restored inappropriately, without a family, without the chance to play baseball with your son whenever you feel like it. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. How? Is that why? why you needed all those dead bodies? I could tell you more if you promise not to stick your nose in. I want details of the project and the names of those involved. Seems our time is up. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty-handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Tread carefully. It's the last chance for you and your family to be together again. We have to take the prisoner back to his cell. Looks like a full-blown riot is going down. Well, of course. Whatever is going on, this slime is involved. Could be, but now we have to focus on the other prisoners. They're armed and storming the warden's office. We need your help. Robo? I will turn them to the path of the... Warden's office. Okay. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. He, he's really talented His cell person. Is in B. And Robocop, give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. Sir. Block A is clean. Good. Let's keep it that way. Why is he having a fake money in the... 
Oh, that's the gift I was talking about. We started a baking class for the inmates, and I must say I've been enjoying it myself. Shame it'll go to waste. Man, are you working in prison now? And tell your fellow guards they ain't getting our help no more. Baking class. Okay. Well, lot less in enemies in this. Jail. After this, I mean. It's Robocop. Need a hand over here. Can we preach? Yes, we can preach. I think this might be a little better. Weapons for for the army, basically. What is this? Nuclear ammunition? Oh no. Okay, they need to hire more guards. Definitely. Okay, armor is okay. Back to the vendor. Whoa, that's uh, not what I expected on my first day. <laughs> first day. That's pretty, pretty hardcore. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, you want to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Okay. Oh, I can never be I promised you one day I'd I'm not fighting! Robocop. New arrival. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smoke screen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on I'm my way there enemy. now. Help. Somebody help! He's gonna kill me! Just give me the gun, scum. You'll be fine. What is the situation? That, that, that guy takes bribes from prisoners and wants to blow my head off because I snitched on him. Oh, bullshit. This lowlife garbage is hiding a gun. I just want to disarm him and cuff him. If you let him cuff me, he'll kill me. Just let me go. I know where the other guards are. I'll head there right away. Let him go. You're making a mistake. See ya.
Drop it. Ah, uh, he had a gun. Oh no. If only I'd been a second faster. Well, that was cream. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. Okay, he just Don't likes. Disturb me. I have laundry oh, to this do. guy. You are not safe here. No, I can't lose this job. It's the only thing that's keeping me sane. Besides, I've got orders. You are in emotional shock. You should report to the guards and get professional assistance. I've already lost one job because of you. I won't let you do it again. Get lost. That works.
just took like very heavy damage. And more incoming. Organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system. And today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. Did Antonovsky gather something from the storage? Bendel. Bendel might have, like, he might have over there, some secret weapon bodyguards. or something. You need to smoke him out. Okay, this explosive and armor is pretty pretty okay. That's enough. That's that's his lighter. 
Ah, uh, helicopter is coming to get him. Well, of course. Can't you get it through that thick skull? Ouch! You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit, but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry. It's it's lighter. Some kind of subliminal message or secret secret. Order. Keep some memorial. Oh no. On only one security guard. Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance. Possible hostiles in the vicinity. She's okay. I'm all right, Murphy. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, thank God you're safe. We've missed you, officer. How are you feeling? A little banged up, but I've certainly been worse. That Wendell guy needs to pay for what he did. And he will. But when? How many more innocent people have to get shot before that happens? OCP doesn't have our back. We know that Wendell's working for him. You know what we should do? Don't even say it! We should go on strike. Yeah! Sergeant, how can we go out on the streets knowing that the people who hire us are working against us? Don't forget about the robots. We will discuss this further, but first, Murphy, it's time for your evaluation. First things first. I'll be catching up on what's been going on, partner. Regrouping. Oh my god, Lewis is back. Hey, Steph, how's my hair? Looks like an elephant took a dump on an ostrich egg. <laughs> so, you also noticed the symmetry of my face? <laughs> Whatever, shithead. <laughs> oh no. Robocop, please have a seat.
Have we missed one mission? Once again. Not about Vendor Lantanovski. One note. Cunning prisoner. Yeah, that was the... <laughs> my mistake. B class. That's it from me. Where is Dr. Blanche? I am supposed to undergo an evaluation. Oh, right. She called. Said that she wouldn't be able to make it today. Actually, she wanted you to call her. She seemed distressed. Murphy, you're here. Let's start with what you found out at that prison. I will show you somewhere private. I think I've got the place. Server room. The new OCP project is what will make this possible for you. But I wouldn't want to leave you empty handed. So let me at least give you this. The project's called Afterlife. Sus. Afterlife? So someone in OCP is working with Wendell on another big project? If not Becker, then who? Sorry to disappoint you all, you ungrateful fucks. You didn't think I'd find you here, did you? Since I'm already here, entertain me. If I'm no longer your suspect, then who is? I mean, we're all thinking it, so I might as well say it. What if it's the old man? Ha! <laughs> You've got some balls to even mention something like that. Nevertheless, good luck. Even if it's true, he's untouchable. Unlike you, I've got some work to do. Final preparations before the expo. So wish me luck. Good luck. <sighs> Becker's right. We can't just go on accusing people without proof. What else is there? Seems that Wendell found himself another gang to work for him. What do we know about them? Guns for hire. He's paying a lot for their services. They're supposed to be very computer savvy, real high tech shit. Dr. Blanche mentioned her computer was hacked. Then I think we found ourselves a new lead. Murphy, I want you to pursue this. I will pay Dr. Blanche a visit. All right, everyone dismissed. Can't wait to go back out there, partner. You're not going anywhere. But, Sarge! I need you here. That's the end of the.